So there were two main motivators for me in rethinking feedback in relation to my own classroom practice and the work that we're doing in the department. One of them was that if our end goal for all our students is not just a sense of ownership, but genuine, authentic agency and mastery of metacognitive skill, then something wasn't quite matching up in the way that we were delivering our feedback. And we were seeing that in the drafting process where students in those conversations didn't feel equipped with the skill or confidence to make the changes that they needed to make. And we were seeing that too in, in the fact that we weren't seeing the change that we expected to happen as a result of the feedback that we were leaving, that we were writing the same things. Um, and it was often written um, extensively, writing those same comments for the same students. And then connected to that, I think the other big driver um, was just what that sort of more traditional model of feedback looked like in terms of staff time. And I think having worked in departments of people um, so committed to that and giving so much time to it and making it the best it could possibly be and still feeling like if they can't make this work, if with this level of dedication and expertise, it's not producing the impact that we want. Something is wrong here. Something is not matching up in our expectations of feedback and what it's delivering. And that time has got to be better spent. To invest that level of time in something which doesn't deliver um, feels kind of scandalous to me. So I think the main thing coming to this session um, that you need to be prepared to explore is an idea um, in a quote from Dylan William which I really like where he says that sometimes you have to ask teachers to stop doing good things in order to do better things and I think that's the challenge of this session and when we're approaching feedback in a slightly different way is that we're not again as William says choosing between death and cake like these are not the practices that people are using currently um, are not necessarily bad or totally ineffective ones and there are lots of very valuable reasons to give very detailed written feedback on students work for example but I think the main thing that to expect from this session is to be prepared to ask yourself that question. Am I prepared to ask myself to stop doing good things in order to explore what might be better things in terms of the learning of my students? And so what that looks like in practice is mainly not a bunch of strategies and techniques and lollipop sticks and whiteboards um, and other things that sort of came under this umbrella of assessment for learning strategies that very quickly spread across schools. Um, but really just to keep asking yourself that question, why am I doing this? What is the learning goal of this? And therefore, how can I shape feedback deliberately and intentionally in a way which best suits that goal? So really the whole session will keep circling around that question and then explore the best practices which might then suit those learning goals. So whether that's whole class feedback, whether that's structuring um, peer feedback in slightly different ways, or whether that's equipping students with a much bigger toolbox of strategies, meaningful for them for assessing their own work. Um, it all comes back to that central question about what is our learning goal? What is the driving? objective of this assessment and how can we then shape feedback accordingly. Join me at Learning2 in October for the Feedback Frontier.